Hey you guys, so it's dinner time and the big question is always, what's for dinner, am I right? So today I'm gonna teach you a, um, a recipe that you can do in under 45 minutes. It is called a pressure cooker barbacoa burrito bowl with cilantro, cilantro lime rice. And are you excited for this recipe? It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna start off with our immersion blender. And so this is the cup that goes with it. So we're gonna first, we're going to add in, ready? So here, Taylor, we're gonna add in a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth. So ready? So add that in there. It's broth from a chicken. Yep. Add that in. Then we're gonna add in some apple cider vinegar. Wow. And so we're gonna do two tablespoons. And oh we are gonna use, if you notice, so we spill. are using our, we're using our Easy Read measuring cups. This one here is the mini Easy Read measuring cup that's sold separately. But what I like about these is they take the place of the bend and squats. So that means you're not having to bend over and measure. You stand up straight and you measure just like that. You ready? Now we're gonna cheat because you can, um, you can do your own lime juice, but I love key lime pies and we make them from scratch. And this is my favorite lime juice. And so we're gonna use this for this recipe today because it's super easy. And I'm just gonna take the whole lid off because we need two tablespoons here as well. And so, um, ready? So we're just gonna pour that in there. And so you can same? easily juice some limes using our zaster or our juicer. Um, but like I said, sometimes we just want to take a shortcut, right? This literally all, all right. looks the so same. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to add in this whole um, jar of peppers. Um, we actually just need two peppers. And so this, you'll find these, um, these whole peppers. And we're going to use our can opener. Now, so many times I have people say to me that, um, oh, here, I'm going to do this one and then you can do it. So I have people that'll say like, Melody, I used that can opener and it didn't work. And it's because the difference between this and traditional can openers is it does not cut the seal. What it does is it releases the seal. So if you see, you go clockwise um, to open the can and then counterclockwise to take it off. And then it has these little teeth on it like that to where you attach that to the side and it will lift the lid well, off well, actually, just like that. And so we're actually going to get me. Actually, you go counterclockwise the way you were going. Oh, oh okay. Go so this way, we're going to get, okay, sh all right, way. here. And we're going to get two whole peppers and then I'll find something else to do with these peppers. So just like that. So that two good, whole I... peppers. Let's see. Let's get us a nice big one here. That smells good, but does it? Are they spicy? Okay. So I think this is going to be a little spicy because it is chipotle and it's um, adobo sauce. So it's going to be spicy. So we'll set that I'm aside over there. there. And so, all right, now we're going to add in our rub. And so this is going to be the chipotle rub. And I'm actually going to add um, two teaspoons. And I usually don't measure the rub, but I just kind of eye out like about a teaspoon and throw that in there add in another little about a teaspoon wow. in there and then next we're going to add in two cloves of garlic now so for garlic we've got our whole garlic head and so um common mistake is what's the difference between a garlic clove and a garlic um and a, a garlic head um so each one of these so one big head of garlic has about 16 cloves so these are cloves and what we're gonna do is we just need, can you break off this one? There we go. And we're gonna use our garlic peeler. So what this does is it will kind of like attach itself and kind of rub the, the peel. So we're gonna push down on it and roll just hard enough, not crushing it, but just enough to kind of hold on to it. Okay, okay. So like that and you see it completely just peels oh the garlic. One more, throw that in there. That's we're gonna add in here. Cool. And then next thing we're gonna use is our immersion blender. And so this is um, a little bit more, I so too. almost. <laughs> so this is going to be um, our Flex Plus, which has three different um, three different attachments. And this one here yeah. is going to be yeah. Let's do a different one. That one looks like a little rough. Yeah. Looks like he had a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> so here, try that one. Um, so okay, so our Flex Plus has three different attachments. This is the immersion blender. It also has a um, like more. a food processor, or it has a hand mixer. And so today. Um, so Taylor's going to show you how to put this together. Do you remember? Here, throw it in there. Throw it in here. Throw it in here. Okay. So do you remember how to put this together? Yeah. So, all right. Now with our Flex Plus, the battery always goes on last. 
um, because it's the, it, we say it's the last of the party, the first to leave, and you're gonna put the immersion blender so down in here, kind of like that, yeah. And it also has a safety feature right here, and that's gonna um, protect you. So when it's on, you see the light is on, hit the safety feature, and then you are going to press the on button here, and then you can increase it here to go faster or slower, and just like that. It's a little loud. Like that. Oop. My hands are so you're gonna want to do this until it's smooth. Does it look smooth, Taylor? Pretty smooth to me. I have garlicky hands. Just like so. Now, all right, next step is going to be remember, last of the party, first to leave. So take that off. And then, Taylor, this has a sharp blade, so be careful with it, okay? Don't touch it. And then we're going to take this well, I'm just going to stick apart. my hand in it. Oop. And that way that can go straight into the dishwasher. All right. I don't so to next touch up, anyway, so. we're going to get ready. Um, we're going to get our, um, our pressure cooker ready. All right. So our next step, we've got our meat ready. And this is going to be, you can either use um, beef chuck or pot roast. And so what I did, and this is a great tip for, um, for the cost, is to look for the trimmings. So you want to get, um, so you can get about a pound and a half of meat. And what you can do is instead of buying one big hunk of meat, um, a lot of times you can find meat that has already been chopped up. So it's when they were trimming, they have all these little extra pieces. And so that's what I got because it's more affordable. So we're going to take and turn on, this is going to be your workhorse of the kitchen. And so it actually has an on off switch in the back. And so that's the first thing we're going to do. And we are going to turn this to sear. So turn it right there to sear and we're going to hit, um, oops, going to hit start. And there we go. I'm going to take the lid off. And oops, we're going to let this start to heat up. And so I'm going to add in a little bit of oil. And while that heats, we're going to season our meat. And so we're going to do about a tablespoon of oil in there, letting that start to heat. Um, while I take and just put some salt and pepper all over the meat, all right? So just like so. And let's add in some seasoning. So of course this is our, um, the Pampered Chef salt and pepper grinder set. So just like so. And as that heats up, we are going to, um, we're gonna now, um, we're gonna let it hit heat for a couple minutes and then we're gonna add in the meat. Next up, as you um, have your meat cooking, you're gonna um, turn it until all sides are browned. Once you get to that point that all sides are browned, you are going to add in your sauce. Um, so pour this chipotle sauce in here, just like so, pour it over top of all the meat, and then let it sit and cook for about five more minutes. All right, so while this is cooking, we are gonna prepare our rice. So we're gonna get one and a half cups of rice. I'm gonna add it in here, and then, oops, I'm gonna half a cup. So one and a half cups of long grain rice. We are also going to add in um, two cups of chicken broth. So I have my measuring cup here from before, so let's go ahead. We're gonna add in that. So pour in, oops, so easy read measuring cup. And I also have a two, a two cup easy read measuring cup, but I would prefer um, less dishes. So my husband always tells me I tend to use way too many dishes. So we're gonna see if we can't try to cut down on that. All right, so two cups of rice to that. And then we're also gonna add in some cilantro and so in some garlic. And so, all right, so let's add in one clove of cilantro, one clove of garlic, whole clove here. So we're not gonna peel it this time. We're just gonna press in a clove of garlic into that and then use your little Barbie brush um, 
for that. And then I love this because it has like kind of a little hook on there to where it makes it easy to get that, that, um, that peel out after you're done and then you can stick it in the dishwasher. So just like that. So stick out up the peel and that will be ready for the dishwasher. Um, so, and now we're going to add in some fresh cilantro. Now this is our herb keeper. And so I love this because it can, goes in the fridge. You can leave the lid off, you can put it on, um, and then you can take and just change out the water in the bottom. Um, and you can also see through to see how the water is doing. So we're actually going to use about a third a cup of cilantro leaves. So I'm just going to tear off some cilantro and I'm actually going to put this into our herb mill. So the herb mill, um, so I've got the little bowl that's down inside of here and I'm just going to stick some cilantro in here. Um, so just cut off a little bit more here. Um, just like so. And we're going to put that aside. Um, and then for the herb mill, then you can just stick it back together. Now, if you leave the bottom on, what it will do is it will gather all the cilantro inside of here, but I'm going to take it off and you can see the little grinders here. And by tossing that ball around in there, it's going to let the um, cilantro just fall right up the bottom here. I'll catch some for you so you can, so I can show it to you. Um, like so, so let's put it inside of here so you can actually see it. So toss the ball around so that the ball gets on top of it again as it moves around just like so. And you can see, oops, wait, take that bottom off, that cilantro that is like finally grated up. And so, um, so again, so we're just gonna toss it around like so. Love this, cause it's getting that fresh cilantro in there and chopping it all up super easy. And then this goes in the dishwasher. All right, so got that. So now the best part is, is we are going to just like so, take this and we're going to cover the rice and it's all gonna cook together. So let's turn, or whoops, gonna turn this off. And we are going to um, put this rack down inside of here, right over top of the meat. And then we're gonna put our rice over top of it. And then this, this down inside of here. Oops. And then we're gonna just take the whole thing. I do recommend using gloves um, if you wanna make sure you don't burn yourself. So just like so. And then all together, we're gonna to put the lid on top. Like so, and we are going So we've got our lid on. And then now what we're going to do is we turn it to beef and pork, and then I'm gonna turn the, t the time. Oops, so um, we're gonna turn the time. So I hit it one time, and then I'm gonna turn this to 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, and then I hold down, and then now, all right. So um, it'll take a, a couple minutes for it to get up to, up to um, pressure. And then once it's under pressure, the little red safety latch is gonna pop up, which is gonna lock the lid so that you won't be able to open it. Um, so that's for safety. Um, and then I can go just sit and hang out until it's done and dinner will be fixed. And so I'll be back and show you the results. All right, so you want it to um, release um, naturally for 10 minutes. So after it beeps, let it sit for 10 minutes. And then we're going to click this. The, the steam is going to come this way. So I'm going to come over on the other side. So, um, so you're going to just hold this down and it's going to come out this way. Oh, so just like so. And so that's really thin. Most of it is already released because, um, we did it naturally for 10 minutes. Um, so that'll finish off here and um, safety little like the little red safety button goes down then it'll be ready for us to release it um, or to open it it'll be ready for us to open the lid all right so there we go all right so now we can turn it and we're going to remove everything from the inner pot now it's going to be um it is, it's gonna be hot, so I'm gonna wear mitts. And so first, we're gonna take out our rice. So here we go. For the rice, we are going to, um, for the rice, you're going to add in the, um, so it's got a little bit of liquid here that's gonna pour off, all right. All right, so we're gonna fluff the rice, 
and we are gonna add in our lime. Now, so we're gonna use a juice of a whole lime. And so um, I'm actually, I added a little bit of lime before, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put a half. And so this is our citrus press. So I'm just gonna add in, and you can add in more cilantro also. But so we're just gonna do just like that. And so I'm just gonna fluff the rice like so. Oops. And so there's our rice, like so. So we'll be able to take that to the dinner table. And then now we are going to take our beef. And so, um, so I am gonna go ahead and just remove the beef to a bowl and we are going to, um, to chop this up. And the sauce on this, you guys, so yummy. It's a little spicy. You can use the sauce. You can use it on just about anything. So use it, like make the sauce up in the immersion blender and use it for chicken, use it for, um, for fish. Um, so any other recipes that you might like with your family. Um, so you can also like take this sauce and, um, and put it in something to serve at the dinner table to pour over top of the rice. It's gonna be yummy also. So here we go. So we are going to try this. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And move our rice out of the way. And I'm gonna bring the beef over here, the, the beef over here so that we can chop it. And so we are gonna use the quick shred. These are awesome. They're magnetic, so they stay together in the drawer. And then we are just gonna take them and use it to just tear the meat apart like so. Super easy. Um, and this is great also. These are great for chicken. They're great for um, big roasts, like they're good for pulled pork. Um, so anything that you wanna shred. Super easy. And just like that, dinner is done. So enjoy. Yeah.